Hey guys, I'm back with a new video. In this video, let us do a small exercise. So here's the question. You have to write a function that copies the content of one file to another. So copying content of one file to another. Now make use of the with statement that we had learned in the previous video for both reading and writing of the file. Make sure to use the correct file modes in your solution. So we are given the input.txt file from which the content is to be read and you have to write that into an output.txt file. So you can pause the video and once you are done click play. So now let us solve this problem together. So I will define a function copy content from input to output and this will take on an input file and an output file. And now first what we need to do is we need to open the input.txt file in read mode. So I can use the with statement and I will use the open method. Pass on the input file that is supplied to us as the argument. And whatever file object we get back, I can define an alias as file object. And now to read the content of the file input.txt, I can use the read method on the file object. And now once the entire content of the file 1, which is your input.txt, which is input file in this case, is read, open the new file that you want to create in the write mode. And then write the text that we just read to the output.txt file. So let me copy these lines and paste them down below. And let us make some changes. So the first thing is that we are now opening a new file, output file, which is output.txt file that we will supply as the second argument. And this will be a new file that we want to create in the write mode. And this will give us a file object. And I will again use the alias file object. And then we are not going to store anything. We just have to use the write method on the file object pertaining to this new file and write the text that we got from this operation which we performed on the input file so now we are done with the function let us invoke the function so I can say copy content from input to output and here I want to copy the content from input.txt to a new file that will get created using this code which will be output.txt and now let us run the file to see the output. So here I can say python file handling exercise.py and now if I go back to my explorer tab you can see the output.txt file just got created. So this was a small exercise on file handling. In the next video we'll learn about how we can work with csv files using all that we have covered in this video. So if you like the video, do give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon for all the upcoming uploads and I will see you guys next time.